Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. In today's video, I'm be working on some spring themed paintings, such as this little chick paired with an eggshell, and then a bunny with floppy ears. The full tutorial for the bunny, along with a drawing template, will be available on my Patreon. I'm going to start off by showing how I painted the chick. For this painting, I start off with the eye. I'm starting with a light layer of brown paint, and I'm going to add some grey on top of it. The grey I'm adding is pretty saturated. I'm applying with a very small round brush. I'm just gently adding some paint to the top portion of the eye to create a shadow. And then after the area dries, I'm going to create a ring around the eye using yellow ochre. I'm going to allow that layer to dry, and then I'm going to add some more yellow ochre details. And then to further increase the shadows, I'm going to add some brown paint. In the next, I'm going to paint in the pupil using a saturated amount of Payne's Gray paint. To get your paint really saturated, try not to use too much water. And then gently trace around the eye shape here. I'm using a number 3 over 0 round brush by the brand Princeton. I like using these brushes for fine details. And then add a little bit of burnt umber over here. And a few details. Next, I'm start painting the beak. For the beak, I mix yellow ochre and a bright orange color. I'm going to apply some paint on the edge here. And after dipping my brush into water, I'm going to gently blend it out. I'm going to have the color transition from dark to light. I'm going to add a little extra pigment on the end here. And then blend that with the rest. I'm just going to gently fill that space in. And then after that layer dries, I'm going to add some detail of burnt sienna. Next, I'm going to start painting in the body of the chicken. I'm going to first add some water to the back of the chicken, and then I'm going to start dipping in some yellow. And then I'm going to start filling in the entire body of the chicken with yellow paint. And spread it out using some water. I'm using a slightly larger round brush to quickly fill in the body. And then while this wash is still wet, I'm going to drag out some little hairs. This will make the chick look really fluffy. I'm going to dab in a slightly darker yellow, and then some more hairs up here. Over here, I'm adding some yellow ochre to create a shadow. And then to dry the wash, I'm using a blow dryer. While the wash is just very lightly damp, I'm going to dab in some extra water. And after things dry, I'm going to go back in and add some more details. The details I'm adding here were made with burnt sienna. 
I'm going to add some below the beak and then some around the eye. I'm just going to gently blend that out. And then maybe a little hair marks down here as well. Next, I'm going to paint this foot sticking out. For the foot, I'm going to start with some orange paint and then have it transition into yellow. And a few more details on the body here where the foot comes out. And on the edge of the foot, I'm going to create some claws with burnt sienna paint. And a few details around the face. Now I'm going to start painting the eggshells. I'm going to start filling this eggshell here with a light brown paint. And I'm going to gently blend that out. and a little extra raw umber here. And outside the shell is a warmer orange color. I'm going to start filling in the shape. And now I'm working on the other half of the shell. Just adding that mixture of yellow ochre and orange. I'm adding some more saturated burnt sienna here. I'm just going to fill that in now. Over here, I'm going to draw a little bit of the foot peeking through. Just for fun, I'm going to soften some of these edges. I'm just adding a little bit of water to soften those edges. I want the edge of this eggshell to really pop, so I'm adding some white ink. This here is an opaque white ink. I'm just applying that very gently. I'm just going to continue my way up the shell. And I'm going to increase the value on the inside of the shell here. I'm going to create a shadow with raw umber paint. Get it really dark in that corner over here. I'm going to add a little more burnt sienna over here. I'm going to create a little shadow. And then further define the edge. I'll last few details, and then this piece is complete. Now I'm going to paint the bunny. 
For this painting, we're going to be starting off by painting the eyes of the bunny. I'm be using a small round brush and Payne's Gray paint. I'm using a wet on dry technique to carefully fill in this area. And then I'm going to move to a slightly larger round brush. This here is a number two. And I'm going to dip it into water and I'm going to gently blend out this paint. Next, we'll be painting the eyelashes on the bunny. I'm be using a small round brush and Payne's Gray paint. Next, we'll be painting the bunny's nose. Using a small round brush, start filling in the nose with some pink paint. Now I'm just going to poke some little pink dots here. Create a line under the chin using Payne's Gray. Next, we're going to add some yellow ochre over here. The bunny's fur is white, but we want to add some variation and add some shadows to it. In the area between the paws, add a little bit of blue paint. The blue I'm using is Prussian blue. And I'm going to use some gray. I'm keeping the colors pretty light and then adding some extra water to make it look soft. We're going to have the edge of the bunny abstract a little bit, so add some water and sort of blur it out. And while things are still wet, dab in some more gray paint. I'm going to have the bunny blur into blue over here. This will give a kind of an abstract effect to the piece. And a little more saturated blue. This will make the edge look like it's dissipating. And then to create some texture or blooms into the wash, I'm dabbing in some clean water. I'm using a wet on dry technique for this process. Next, I'm going to gently blend out that gray. Now let's move to painting the head of the bunny. Let's start with a very light wash of gray paint. Add quite a bit of water to keep the value light. Then to give it a textured wash, I'm going to dab in some more gray. Next, let's start painting the inner ear of the bunny. The inner ear is a pink color. So let's use that rose de ray color again, or any similar color. I'm adding a saturated amount of pink into the inner ear here, and then I'm going to blend it out into a gradient by adding some water. And I'm going to gently paint out the ear shape here with a dilute amount of burnt umber. On this side of the ear, I'm using paint gray to draw out the line. And again, continue up the ear with Payne's Gray paint. And then gently blend out that line with a larger brush dipped into water. And then I'm dab in some more gray. I'm going to keep dabbing in paint to create texture. Here I'm adding some light lines. Again, I'm starting with rose de ray paint and adding it here. And then I'm gonna gently blend things out after dipping my brush into water. I'm dabbing in some extra gray while things are still wet.
We're just keeping things nice and light and soft. Now let's start painting the other side of the rabbit's face. This painting's pretty symmetrical, so we'll be repeating a lot of the steps. And on the bridge of the nose, create a very light shadow. I'm adding a little extra value on the bridge of the nose, right in the middle. And then below the chin, add a little extra brown. I'm keeping the paint a little bolder here. And now let's start adding the whiskers. I'm using a small brown brush and gray paint to paint the whiskers on. If you have a hard time creating fine lines, you can also use a pen. And then a few more details around the bunny. And a few more whiskers. And then this painting is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye now.